Hello everyone, here I am with my last LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog Summer 2024 review. Well, until next, until the next wave next year, of course. And this one's on the Supersonic vs. Egg Drillster, of course. And so, on the front of the box here, you have the uh, LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog logos and a large battle going on with everything there. And also, recommended ages is 8 and up, set number uh, 76999, and 590 pieces. Nice artwork on the side there. And then on the back side of which, does have another battle of everything going on, and also some shots of the set, and couple of features of it and the Sonic the Hedgehog logos and Lego logo of course. Then onto the manual of which odd CGI rendering and the two logos of course. And then the transition from plastic bags to paper bags add for the builder app. And then how to win on the online survey all the pieces that come with the set which is three pages and then advertisement for the early winter 2024 sets there and then this current waves sets which both which I have reviewed all of and last building steps to it so now on to the fix First of which is Dr. Eggman, same one which is just the same that came in like two sets last year, so don't need to mention much of him. And then as for Shadow the Hedgehog, same one that came in the uh, Shadow Motorcycle set from earlier in the year, or early this year. But the only difference is a like ticked off uh, mouth print to that. So at least nice to have some extra diversity or range in shadow figs for that but however all of the and of course the rest of which was a great fig then still a great fig now for that and then next to which is uh, the all new supersonic which and of course the printings all of which the same as traditional sonic but obviously in yellow instead of blue obviously to represent him supercharged and such and also, as for the head sculpt here, which is kind of similar to like the uh, regular Sonic figs, but of course with the hair kind of curved upwards instead of downwards for that. Obviously, since it's supersonic, it tends to do so, of course. But however, the sculpting and the printings all look very good for how it is. And also, do get a little bunny and flicky for that which did also come in a couple of sets last year or so not much mentioned there then the back torso printing on all of them which obviously the shadow and supersonic similar torso printing but kind of like kind of odd seeing a color swap for that and dr eggman's still quite good as for how it is but yeah and not much else to say for this minifig selection but and then next to which is uh, the Egg Pawn robot, which all are kind of similar to the uh, to the uh, other one of it that also came in one of the sets of this uh, wave as well. But like, well, kind of similar built to it, but of course, but it's a lot smaller for how it is. But like for the legs of which, which are. Just some of those rounded plates with hanging brackets that hold these uh, odd slopes on both sides and of course both of which are on mixed ball joints so get free range of motion in there and then for the lower body which also similar to that to the uh, egg uh, bot from the yeah, of from the tales adventure set of course or no no the, the chaos emerald uh, set of course and same pieces as that and then 
As for the arms of which, which are just, oh whoops, the extra large cone pieces with these kind of, with those uh, rounded tile pieces underneath, and, and of course are on the axle rod, or I mean on the uh, rod with ball joint kind of pieces to make it full range of motion, of course. And same feature as that other or, uh, robot there, but the dome pieces in red and has some unique printing to it, like metallic blue face printing. Kind of cool for how it is. And of course, can flip open and does have a, a lightish blue uh, blue jumper piece in there. All of so this color scheme kind of feels almost like out of Monkey Kid. Think for that, well, just slightly. And of course, can like put your flicky onto there and close over it very nicely. And next up for another which is a gun wing, of course. So kind of interesting, but of course nice to see another blind one of it like we saw in the uh, in the Tornado Workshop set last year, but obviously a different kind of built than that one. Like the front blaster, which oh, was kind of held on by this uh, T bar piece, and then also, oh, which just a, a traditional uh, lightsaber hilt piece as well. Mainly the one from Bunky Kid in red, but used as its front blaster part of it. Uh, sorry about all that. And of course, standing on a clear uh, dish and hinge rod. To me, it's uh, look like it's hovering, of course. And then as for the shaping of which, quite neat and quite good for how it is. Like a few cheat slopes and other slope pieces, and also those slopes to act as like extra jagged looks to it. And also this uh, whole stud acting as like an eye for that. And then on top of which, just a traditional uh, curved slope there. Now on the back side is a crate part that you can pop right open and it goes onto that uh, orange uh, plate in there. And the main feature is you can just put one of your critter, mini or critters into there and just plop it in like so. And of course held on nicely, unless you can like like have them uh, destroy right at destroy at it and free them, of course. So good homage there, but yeah. So that's about it there. And also included in this is the Speed Sphere launcher and the Speed Sphere itself, but in trans yellow. For that, unlike in the and of course in the Tail uh, Boat Adventure set, got one in trans orange, and last year had this in trans blue. So nice to have some extra diversity to it. And of course, like this mainly for the to fit a uh, uh, supersonic minifig into. Okay, we can get in like so. Okay, there we go. And then speed one sphere launcher, which also same as from three set for that, but the only difference are these extra bits to that, but are in yellow rather than blue for that. And how it and if you're not sure how that goes like is just oh, let me get this up. You can just push on it and launches it off. Well unless if you had better force to it. Yeah. Quite good for how that is. And that's about it there. And then on to the first or the first one of the main builds is uh, the drillster, which obviously seen since like the uh, uh, second Sonic game that there was. But of course you kind of see that's tilted slightly forward, but obviously to make it look like it's drilling into the ground, obviously, if you're seeing it like that. But like for the front part of which, which is just a uh, 
big jagged wheel part and of course drill like we've seen in power miners for that. But however, this drill piece in yellow, nice to see there and good to use for mocking and also this front section, nice to see that tile piece on there which is mostly from the Jago but nice to see that here in red and also this upper part of which which are supposed to be two headlights. It's been built quite nicely for how that is and then also the back side of which which is, is, is some quite nice detailing to it and also these car rim pieces to there and then also this uh, airplane engine part but acting as like a back exhaust area and then also this back part of which does have these uh, uh, clear orange dish pieces and also so these uh, macaroni two pieces acting as like exhaust part to it and although I guess it kind of makes a bit of a face there hey which we did once see in Star Wars sets long ago but yeah and then also do have those car hood pieces on both sides of it so perfect symmetry in this set of course but in this case used as like extra paneling to it and as for the wheels here since they're the extra large kind of one, it's nice and sturdy. And for the main feature is, as you see underneath, Technic gears in there. And, and of course, if you like move it, then the drill moves to it. So just about like the Thunder Driller in the 2009 Power Miners range. And as for this uh, center section of which, or center cock section, which does have a yellow uh, caution lines around it and a small um, windshield piece to that and those tan jumpers is of course where you can fit your Dr. Eggman minifig into well hard to do so there we go and then also like in the games can like pull it right off to that since it's fitting on one single jumper onto there and now why there's turquoise light as you're in there Mostly for it to stand out and so you can know where to put the uh, escape pod feature on to a course. And as for the escape pod fitted, which quite simplistic for how it is, like few pieces. And of course these Technic panels acting as wings and also flick fire missiles, which we uh, barely see much nowadays, even though spring of the launchers kind of taken off, taken over that. but. Obviously, how it, they go like is push on them and they flick off, of course. But in this case, they would have egg pieces onto their on the tips, most likely, and of course, fitting to the Dr. Eggman theme to there. So, and that is about it with the quite about it with the egg drill stir. And now onto this uh, little lap like built section here which I see quite simplistic crowd is but of course although almost like that one that came in the uh, shadow uh, a shadow motorcycle chase set from earlier in the year but also does have a little bit of features to it like the Green Hill Zone sets as well so now first on for this one little section here which has a little shelf here with another egg piece and a couple of with but also a little uh, cracked egg around it and a couple of gems and various things and also if you can notice that those uh, that tile piece and that square both rounded square are most like probably just Orbot and Cubot just kind of turned off and folded in so it's nice to see that and of course we did get Cubot in a uh, set last year. Hopefully, we'll get one of Orbot in the future for that. And also, this little holder holding one of the Chaos Emeralds. So, nice Easter egg mentioned there. And since it's kind of detached, we'll see a little extra more of that. Does have this little chair that leads to this desk that has kind of a computer like setup and a desk on there. And of course, this switch sort of supposed to be a computer monitor but it's like a life monitor with a sphere uh, power up to it and also this little portrait here 
of Shadow and uh, I forget the name of this character, but yeah. But however, it's nice to see a little print of that in this set, or in any of these Sonic sets, but yeah. And then goes out to this little A tile piece to there, like, and of course hold it together, like we saw in a couple other sets of this theme, but yeah. And then onto a wall right here, where it's pretty much just a 2x2 two two and 2x4 two bricks with a couple of red plates in between them. And, but also, there's a couple of Asterix droid headpieces of two types and green trans-green cones on top. But also, all of it is just resting on dark blue jumpers. And the, the reason for that is where it's where the features come in. And But however, kind of just fine as is. But yeah. And so one of the features is where you either you can take the uh, egg drillster and just ram it into that in there, or since it, but you can arrange those however you want it. But yeah. And also, where you can take the uh, take Super Sonic in the Speed Sphere, here, and then kind of aim it at it, and just. It's supposed to break apart. Let me try that one more time. There. Maybe even one more time. Obviously. Yeah. Nice to see that. Well, unless if you smacked it harder, then it would work better. But however, that would a good fun feature that is. Like almost like a couple of the sets last year kind of did with the speed sphere launching kind of part to it. But yeah. So now let me gather up everything here. All this here. So now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this was a quite good and fun set for that. Like the a wall ram and down kind of feature, and also moving the egg drill store, obviously, do, which is plenty of fun for that. And also kind of nice, and also the uh, foot fire missiles, uh, which is nice to see some extra variety on them, like with the egg pieces and such. Although I think all those stud shooters with uh, yellow studs could have worked out as much fine for that, but all of the egg pieces do work out a little better for that. And of course, for the shelf part of the uh, side building, which nice to see some uh, Easter eggs in there, like the Chaos Emerald and Orbot and Cubot, of course. And also the little uh, tile piece that, or sign piece, that is, has shadow printed on it as well, but yeah. And also, as for the uh, Speed Sphere and Speed, Speed Sphere Launcher to there, I wish nice to see a little bit of color difference than the like blue colored ones last year for that. And also, nice to get uh, Dr. Eggman in a little cheaper set than the two sets of last year, of course. And also, nice to get a little variant of Shadow in here, and also the main highlight of this set is obviously the inclusion of Supersonic for that. And hopefully could come in other sets in the future. Well, we'll see how that goes. And also great to have the Egg Drillster, which from one of the classic games for that. Although we could although we could have a little different stuff going on, but however it's still quite good as is, but yeah. But as for the price point for like fifty sixty dollars that it is I say for the piece count with the piece count there I say still quite good for that and, oh, which so this which quite good deal for, for the price point that it is like do you get plenty of good playability and a few good selection of mini figs as well but yeah And if you are looking to get this set for your Lego Sonic the Hedgehog collection, definitely pick it up. And if you are looking to get a 
to get supersonic if you're like looking to have that in any kind of range of that then definitely pick it up and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching